or the latest with BBC News. Welcome to Newsday. Reporting live from Singapore, I'm Karishma Viswani. The headlines. Police in Nashville say a 28-year-old has killed six people at a primary school. Three of them were nine-year-olds. We've also determined uh, there were uh, maps drawn of the school in detail of uh, surveillance, uh, entry points, etc. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu confirms he will delay controversial judicial reform plans following widespread anti-government protests. Prince Harry makes a surprise appearance at a high court hearing in London. He's among several high-profile figures bringing a privacy case against the publisher of the Daily Mail newspaper. Chinese entrepreneur Jack Ma, who disappeared from view after criticizing the government, has been seen in public for the first time in several months. We'll have a special report from Afghanistan, where a new school year has started, but the Taliban government forces teenage girls to stay at home. If the restrictions on women get more and more intense, I don't think this life is worth living. And Gwyneth Paltrow's accuser details the moments before he says the actress collided with him on a ski slope seven years ago. As Paltrow denies responsibility for the incident. Live from our studio in Singapore, this is BBC News. It's Newsday. Welcome to the program. We begin today in the United States, where police in Nashville say six people, including three children aged nine, have been killed in a school shooting. The attacker is also dead. It happened at a private Christian school. President Biden has described the shootings as heartbreaking. Neda Tofik has this report. <laughs> 